Hey, hope everyone is doing good. Well, we're going to be looking at the Seraphim, the Order of Chivalry, and the Landgraviant of Hessel Kessel. There's a lot to look at, so let's jump right to it. So we just had the Independence Day, and right away I look at things maybe that other people don't notice, including their symbol that they were showing here, just some things I see. Maybe somebody has information on what those could possibly mean other than what I wrote. But I look at these things. This has bothered me for a while, and I think I covered it slightly in a video long ago, but I don't know. So that's what we're going to look into. Plus her brooch. She had this brooch on her. So if you don't know what that represents, well, it represents Jean Sibelius. Yes, the world-famous composer Jean Sibelius. Very well known here and throughout the world, actually. And he has his own monument and his own bust or his face at least there so who is he you can look into him deeper if you really are interested but even in wikipedia it says when freemasonry was revived in finland having been forbidden under the russian reign sibelius was one of the founding members of swami lodge number one that's right and if you think wikipedia has to be wrong and and hey absolutely it can be let's look into the rotary site I've shown this many times to many people, especially since uh, Nienista, our president, became the president here. And there is his picture. It's in the history, and I'll add the link so you can find it. And there also is John Sibelius. So Sibelius and Sauli Nienista, our president. They are there. And if you don't understand what the Rotary is, just realize it's a, another name, just like Lions Club, and it is a part of the Freemasonry affiliated with all those other names. Knights of the Royal Order of Seraphim is basically what they have on them. Order of Chivalry. And look, there is our neighboring king, and he's wearing them too. Gustav. Yes. So all presidents have received this chain and there is the list of the most recent so do other countries have this yes they do there you have the queen elizabeth queen uh, philip charles knights of the royal order of the seraphim hmm he received this in 2012 so we're going to look at that and many others because you do realize that royalty are the ones who have these right? Look, I'm not saying <laughs> Nienis is royal. No. <clears throat> On the contrary. But I'll give you the links of where it has all these listed that you can look into them and more. But Royal Order of the Seraphim is a Swedish order of chivalry created by King Frederick. Look at that. IHS. Hmm. What does that remind you of? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Isis, Horus, Set, and the Catholic Church. That's exactly what this is. That's exactly. So the seraph. Let's look at that. It's a type of celestial or heavenly being originated in ancient Ju Judaism. <laughs> okay, already many of you threw the white towel up or the white flag and said, okay, that's it. That's all I need to hear. Absolutely. Eurasis is also something that it derives from. It's ancient Egyptian again. <laughs> Always goes back to that. So Salininista, there's his coat of arms on the right and his wife and he's wearing many different kind of chains. He sometimes changes the color of the the veil that goes across. I'm not sure the reasoning for this. I honestly don't maybe there's more to it than I'm even understanding. But he has an order of the polar star and order of the line of Finland. And look at what it says. The president of Finland is the grand master of all three orders. Do you understand what this means? Do, I mean, honestly, the grand master, the only thing I can think of is this, the grand master, grand master Jacques de Molay. Hmm. Just saying. King Frederick, Prince Consort of Sweden. Hmm. He is, he was, excuse me, the Landgrave back in the 1700s. What does that mean? It means the Duke of over territories, basically. 
So has this changed? This was a whole in, holy Roman Empire times. This is King Frederick immediately appointed his brother William the Eighth as governor of the Hesse. The Hessian, it just is the same. It, it is a group, an individual of people who are owners of these land graves. And it goes back pretty far. And I could add the link so you can really see exactly who all was a part of this in the beginning and how it's developed a long time. Okay, so the Hessian went from Taub, who then ended and it succeeded with William the Eighth. There's a lot to look here, and if this is confusing, I'll clarify it right at the end, just in the very basic minimum details. So there's a Duke of Holstein Gottorp. Okay, and he is, look at, I just want you to see some of the names. So you think that movies don't use real names? Just look, Olaf, <laughs> that doesn't happen by accident. And a lot of these names are from these high individuals. I'm just saying. But anyway, so we have the Duke of Holstein Gottorp. Look, in short, basically Queen Margaret the I of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway is where this all derives from. And then you can read the entire thing, but Gustav is the descendant of this line. That's as basic as I can get it. So, Duke, Grand Duke Dmitri Pavlovich of Russia. Hmm, he was the house of Romanov, Holstein Gottorp Romanov. Okay, Carl Gustav, Grand Duke of Finland. Hmm. Did we have such a thing? House of Hesse descended from the House of Brabant, House of Hesse, Germany, Sweden, and Finland. Well, interesting, isn't it? We have a newspaper here called Helsing in Sanomat, but it's basically, people call it Hesari. So, I don't know, that could be the meaning. My husband brought that up. I thought that was interesting. So, King Carl Gustav and his wife... In various clubs, yeah, they belong to many things, and look at all the badges on them there. Oh my goodness. And he, even in Wikipedia, you can just find it in short, he's a part of the Lions Club, but just look at that logo right there. That looks like a C and another C, and that's exactly why he had it done that way. That shows he is number 33. So, King Gustav. There's before and there's after, but there's probably many different types of badges and awards he's won. But it's the Order, order of Chivalry. There you have it. IHS is right on it. The Order of Chivalry, Order of Knighthood, Chivalric Order, or Equestrian Order is another order of knights. Okay. You can see it plain as day. I'm not lying, and both these men have it. So our president and, of course, the king. Coat of arms for Finland. There you have the old first coat of arms during the Russian era. Uh, current coat of arms since 1978 on the right. So Bishop Benedict Dute, it just kept continuing, but does it really exist still is my question after everything that's been done? Well, I don't know, but I do know that there still is the head of Hesse that passed away not too long ago. He was the Landgrave, Mortis von Hessen. Yes, he died, unfortunately, but his, all of it came, of like we've talked, from the Queen, Victoria. He's also descended of Frederick, a uh, German emperor, and he passed it all down to his son, Donatus, Prince and Landgrave of Hesse. There you have it. The eldest son of the successor. Okay, and he has three kids now as well. There, there is a picture of him right there, and there is his logo. So, wouldn't you believe that they also have their own anthem? So, this does exist. Okay, I won't bore you more with that than that, that few seconds, but it does exist. But King of Finland? Hmm. Well, let's just see. Prince Mortis was also the grandson of the Landgrave Frederick Karl von Hessen. 
Yes, mm -hmm. the Finnish monarchists. Yes, there is. Well, some seem to say that they they still exist, um, but I, I would ask a Finn, and they would tell you right away, uh, no, there is no king over Finland. But Frederick Charles Louis Constantin, Prince of Landgrave of Hesse, he was elected king of Finland on the ninth of October, nineteen eighteen. But that was only brief because then they demolished all of that. So, Landgrave Mortis von Hessen died, and after his death, does that mean that the land just is no longer being run over about by these others? I, uh, I'm thinking that somebody still owns this land, and it's not just Finland. Queen Sophia of Spain, with the former Tsar Simeon Bulgari, there he is, and. The, and her brother, ex-King Constantine of Greece? Well, this was at the the funeral. So then I'm looking at all the, you know, the badges and things, and commander in order of lion. You know, he, he was the grand master of all three, right? So I found all these badges here. And however you want to look at, this one in particular, can you see it? And if you can't, that's why I enlarge this one. That's upside down. And to me, however you slice it, that's basically the Baphomet star there in the middle. I don't know. That's all I know is that is a, a line that is goes back and the star that goes back to Knights of Malta, Knights of Templar, however you want to call it. But even the Queen has various ones that are similar to that, including King of Spain, King Philippe. So I went to look that does this still exist? But look, Frederick Karl Langrave from 25 to 40, elected King of Finland. It could, it could still be. And now it's gone to this other gentleman, Demetrius, or what was his name? And he's standing right here next to uh, the princess at the queen's birthday. So he's not just a nobody. Absolutely not. There's other Hesses uh, that are diff called just slightly differently. Hesse Philippe Thal Barchfield. Well, this man right here was a Hesse. He died, unfortunately, in a bad motor ride crash. But the Hesse Darmstadt and Hesse. They are much alive still today and their flag and coat of arms. That's all I'm selling. And they are, yes, of course, they're in line with the UNESCO and the World Heritage Sites and to it all, like I've always said, they're all interlinked. Look, I don't know anything if, if they are still the Landgraves over Finland, whether that is incorrect information, but I wouldn't doubt if they were. I wouldn't doubt if this man was over all of Finland still. But all I know is Saulini Nista is a Grand Master, which means he is a Freemason. Plain and simple, when you can find him in the Rotary site. And all I'm going to say is it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. I don't trust any king or queen, because all I put my trust in is the Lord, and I hope you do too. There's a lot of information, but... Plain and simple, he is a Freemason, a Rotary member, and there possibly could be uh, the Hesse over Finland. So there are my two thoughts, my two cents for the day. I put a lot of work into that. Hope it made sense to any of you out there. I wish someone would do some information on this as well because it's very interesting looking at history. So God bless, take care, and so much more to come. Till next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out my second channel. I had two weeks that I was taken down, and I have a lot of information and videos on there in that site. So I'll add the link below. God bless. Take care.